It's been a two and a half year wait for justice. Jury selection begins tomorrow in the murder trial of Dovecchio Patrick. He's accused of strangling his ex-wife, Deanna Cook, whose body wasn't discovered for two days because of a 911 mistake. Her death prompted an overhaul of Dallas 911 operations, but her family is now focused on a conviction. Fox Force Calvert Collins joining us now from the Frank Crowley Courts building with a preview of this pretty high profile trial. Calvert. And Heather, this trial has already been delayed several times, prolonging closure for Deanna Cook's family. They say Del Vecchio Patrick is dead to them, but they still want him prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Still, they know their message goes beyond a verdict. Her sisters hope that her story will rescue other women from domestic violence. Silence is not golden. Deanna Cook's voice lives on two and a half years after her last breath. That she's here, she's here with all of us, and she is beckoning you to make a difference. Tomorrow begins one more step toward justice. On August 17th, 2012, Deanna Cook called 911, screaming and pleading for her life for 11 minutes. Police say she was under attack by her ex-husband, Del Vecchio Patrick. But officers didn't come to her rescue. It took them 50 minutes to respond because of stops along the way, including a false burglary call and personal purchases at a 7-Eleven. And when they did finally arrive at Cook's home, no one answered, so they left. Two days later, her mother called 911 requesting a welfare check. But the operator told her to call the jail and hospitals instead. They did find her. After kicking in her front door, she was lying dead in her bathtub. What we experienced was horrible and what we have to live on a daily basis through the memories, that's horrible. But at the same time, I'm glad that a light was sh shined on this situation so that the changes could be made in the system. That 911 operator was later fired, two others reprimanded, and the city of Dallas overhauled its 911 operations and hired more call takers after Cook's murder. It also helped spawn Mayor Mike Rawlings' campaign to end domestic abuse. Amen. On the eve of her trial, family and friends released balloons in her honor. When I asked what her sister wanted to say to Del Vecchio Patrick. I have no energy for him. Valicia Battle chose not to listen to her sister's 911 calls, but she wants the jury to hear every single word. I think that's a necessity to understand exactly what was going on and exactly what the dispatch heard and exactly what was happening at that moment and what allowed police officers to stop and get Sprite instead of herring to this, this instant and to, to quench your thirst instead of saving a life. I called Del Vecchio Patrick's attorney uh, this afternoon for a comment on his uh, client claiming he's been innocent all along and any um, uh, trial strategy, but my calls were not returned. Del Vecchio Patrick has an extensive criminal history, including assault, aggravated robbery, drug possession, and uh, resisting arrest. He now faces life in prison. Heather. All right, Calvert Collins live tonight. Thank you.